Normally, when we talk about enthalpy change delta H, we mean the enthalpy change in the chemical reaction as the reactants are converted to the products. But enthalpy also changes when a substance is simply heated or cooled. The higher the temperature of a substance, the higher its enthalpy. Equation 13.9 shows how the enthalpy changes when the temperature changes. And it's illustrated in figure 13.8, which is on page 631. Remember, the enthalpy change delta H in this case refers to the change in enthalpy with temperature. It's not an enthalpy of reaction. Now the graph shows that H increases with temperature, but what we want to know is by how much. Well, enthalpy change is the heat transferred at constant pressure, and we can give that quantity the symbol QP, where Q is the amount of heat transferred and P uh, says that it's at constant pressure. And the expression for QP is QP equals N, that's the number of moles, times Cp, the molar heat capacity at constant pressure, times delta T, the temperature change. And for one mole of substance, that simplifies to Qp equals Cp times delta T. So this quantity Qp is what's going to give us the change in enthalpy for a temperature change delta T. So looking at figure 13.8 again, this means that the enthalpy change as you go from temperature T1 to T2, that increase in enthalpy is going to be given by Cp delta T. And this gives us equation 13.9. The enthalpy at temperature T2 is the enthalpy at temperature T1 plus Cp times delta T. And this is all for one mole. Just one thing to note. You can see that figure 13.8 is in fact a curve, not a straight line. But equation 13.9 assumes it is a straight line with gradient Cp, and that Cp doesn't change with temperature. This is a fair approximation, provided the difference between T1 and T2 is small, so that Cp doesn't change significantly between the two temperatures.